today's event is very prestigious mainly because of the presence of officials from the Department of Agriculture and Department of Science and Technology. Welcome to Cebu. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a rousing applause to the father of the Department of Science and Technology, Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña. Ano ang mga objectives ng ating uh, research or R&D sa ating native uh, team? Una-una, development of breeding prototype populations with uniform physical characteristics para predictable yung production performance and consistent ang product quality. So, ito din yung ginawa sa native ducks. Ano? So, nagkaroon ng um, uh, prototype population. Focus on science and technology coupled with an improvement in the country's infrastructure would help boost Philippine competitiveness and allow the government to attain its objective of ambition in 2040. The other objective is the development of local resource-based production protocols and systems to enhance efficiency and productivity of the native pigs to ensure profitability and sustainability. And, uh, uh, with uh, some of our uh, short conversations with our representative from uh, industry who are dealing with the native pigs, alam, alam ko na marami tayong matututunan sa kanila kasi sila ay uh, uh, nag-experiment on their own. Nag, uh, they develop ng mga pigs at uh, uh, marami silang sinusubukan. And uh, this, with more than 80% uniformity na in physical characteristics, uh, particularly in regions uh, CAR, Region 2, 4A, 4B, and Region 8. So through organized breeding and selection, the average litter size of native pigs has now increased from 5 to 7 piglets per liter. And uh, with science-based feeding of 20 to 30 kilos for lechon pigs is already achieved at 5 months old. Of course, uh, yung five months, matagal pa rin ito kung i-compare mo dun sa ating mga uh, imported. Ano? And just after a few hours, after the typhoon subsided, bumalik yung mga baboy. Kahit wala na yung shed nila doon, bumalik yung mga baboy, all of them account. So that demonstrates the resilience of the native pigs. And why is it important to us? <clears throat> Nakakatulong yun if our native pigs have that character. Nakakatulong yun because we do not have to build elaborate houses, which is expected to be expensive. So, pwede natin siyang alagaan sa mga simple babae. Now, this is just showing you their heat tolerance. Kaya ng native pig. Because had this been our commercial hybrids, itilad mo lang sila sa araw, kahit hindi sila gagalaw, mamamatay mo. They would die of heat stroke. Our native pigs are able to do it in broad daylight sa katanghali ang tapat na mailit ang panahon. So then, nagpuproduce din sila ng mga, mga offspring na kaya din mabuhay or mabuhay yung sa natural environment. Sa mga pribadong uh grupo na engage po dito sa native uh, pig uh, industry kami po ay sumasaludo po sa inyong passion para itaguyod po ang uh, industriya nito no at uh, meron ng national organization meron pa mga provincial organizations na para lamang sa mga native uh, pigs no at uh, ito pong uh, pinapasukan po ninyo na industriya nito this is a major force in the industry kasi sa backyard di ba 64% 
ng uh, ating uh, industry ay nasa backyard. Kaya pag nagpawala tayo ng uh, native pigs self-supporting, damulang at uh, mga dahon-dahon mabubuhay na malaki po itong tulong po sa ating mga kababayan na nasa native uh, pigs. No? Ingatan po natin yung ating uh, namumuo, yung uh, lumalakas na pagkakaisang ito at gamitin po natin itong pwersang ito upang uh, palakasin ang ating programa at ang ating hangat. Kapag malakas tayo, makikinig yung mga elected officials natin. Makikinig sa atin ang Kongreso, makikinig sa atin ang Senado. At ito po yung panahon na tamang-tama kasi meron po tayong tinig ngayon sa Kongreso at sa Senado. Mismong si uh, Senator uh, Villarna, uh, si, si Senadora uh, Villarna, siya na mismo yung, uh, pan, yung uh, parang binulabog kami. Dati ay naglalabi kami para doon sa Veterinary Act. Ngayon si, si Senator uh, Villarna ang uh, nangungulit sa amin na palakasin natin ang uh, livestock industry, pagsamasamahin natin, natin ang mga ahensyang ito. Tapos yung budget ninyo na 1 billion, gawin natin na 10 billion. So we are still continuing on the further selection for the improvement of the growth rates and the reproductive performance of these pigs. We are furthering selection for the predictability. Hopefully, the, our private sector entrepreneurs would help us in the multiplication of these pigs by using these genetics in your production. So again, from PTI, we're also looking forward because as you know, PTI and POST and DA really work together on the ground and you know, So we put together, we have different mandates, but at this government, and if we put this together, we can build an industry and we can build a more businesses for this. Tana, yung mga nag-attend ngayon sa the private sector, eh, wag uh, madala o magsawa na makikolaborate sa gobyerno. Kasi doon lang tayo talaga makakaamante. <laughs>